Sometimes it is important to let objects do something after a certain event occurred. In programming, this is called an if statement. If a certain event happens, something else should happen. Let's see this with an example. We have a wine glass standing on a table. We measure the loudness with our phone sensor. And every time a certain loudness level is reached, the glass shatters. Test, 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 test! The event which occurs is the loudness above a certain level. And when this event happens, the glass is changing its look. Let's take a look how we can program this in pocket code. We first need a glass object with two looks. One look is the normal glass and the second look is the glass which is broken. First, we adjust the size of the object. Now we need a brick for the if statement. We find this brick in the category control. Make sure to pick the brick with the else in it. We place this brick underneath change size. Now we need to define the statement by tapping on the value besides if. In the formula editor, go to device to select loudness in order to measure the loudness levels. If the loudness reaches a certain level, something should happen. But what level of value isn't really defined yet? If you tap on compute, you can see the values which the loudness sensor is measuring. For example, if I talk louder and louder and louder, the values also get higher. By testing and analyzing these values, I can pick a suitable boundary. The value 60 looks like a good boundary in this case. To define this boundary, we need to go to logic. Here are comparison operators like equal, unequal, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, or less than or equal to. In this case, we pick greater than and insert afterwards the value 60. If the loudness reaches a value above 60, this statement gets true and then something should happen. If you tap on compute, you can check when this statement gets true. Uh, uh, uh. So the glass should shatter if it's too loud. So we need to go to looks and pick the brick switch to look. We place this brick underneath the if statement and select the look broken wine glass. Every time the loudness reaches a level above 60, the class shatters since it changes its look to the broken class look. In order for this to work though, we also need a forever loop since the sensor needs to measure the loudness all the time. Therefore, we place the forever brick above our if statement. Let's test this program. It worked. We reached a certain loudness level and the glass shattered. Test, 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 test! This only happened once. After the glass shattered, it stays like this. We can change this by adding a switch to look wine glass brick after the else brick. This means now that the glass only changes its look if the loudness level is reached. Else it has a normal look. This is the magic behind if statements. If you have understand this, then try to solve the next task.